100.7 WMMS, Cleveland. All right, you want to go see Mushroom Head. The annual tradition around these parts is Mushroom Head Halloween. Saturday, October 26th is when it's going to go down this year at the world-famous Agora. Always fun. Get your costume ready now. AXS.com for the details, tickets, info, all that. You'll find it there. Uh, this pair for you, Mushroom Head, Halloween, end of October, appropriately enough. Uh, good luck. 216 578 or 800-348-1007. Okay, so being called an audio hate crime by Ohio Quilter Magazine wasn't our proudest moment. The Alan Cox Show. On 100.7. WMMS. You see Flea on Mulaney's show? Yeah. Going off of it. We've been talking uh, off the air about how much we love this madcap live John Mulaney show, which is done now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It was just the six episodes. Friday was the last one. I I'll, enjoyed it quite I'll a play bit. play that in a minute. Flea was pretty funny. Mary turned me on to John Mulaney. She's like, you, this guy's awesome. You got to hear him. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Did you watch? It was funny. It was kind of all over the place. Yeah, it, was a, it, it didn't was... all work, but it was just so fun that they had something like that on there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dan, you're the guy that was complaining to Bill about your band? Yes, I am. <laughs> What's up, Dan? What's your Is the band hey, still intact? Hey, now i got a phone to pick with you, Alan. Yeah, I you thought that might be why you were What was it? Is the band still intact? No. Well, yeah, they are. They are, but not with, not with my wife. Um, no, but it's still your band. No, I wasn't in the band. It was my ex-wife. Okay. Um, oh, your ex-wife's band. Yeah. Now look, I, I wasn't. Bill wasn't jerk. I'm not saying it because they lost the contest. I'm saying this, this happened before the contest even ended. Oh. Okay. But the funny, but the funny thing about it is that the band was actually voted um, uh, listener choice for Rover's uh, Roverfest. What was the band? So, uh, crack? Never heard of him. Hardcore Irish punk band? Never heard of him. Crack? Yep. Okay. Yep. This was like ten years uh, ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was oh, so you lake. were just trying to you were just trying to support your at the time wife's band. Yeah. Was she the yeah. singer? No, she plays the electric violin. Oh, the electric violin. Uh, oh, okay, well, and then you guys broke up because you're like, I can't wait to tell you I hate the electric violin. No, no. Oh, okay. it, was my, it was my bad. She's a wonderful person. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. It's um, you got You know, Al's gotta... got a friend that's looking for a lady, so maybe they can, you know. No, sadly, he. I, I say, what are you looking for? And he goes, all I know is no electric violins. Uh, he was so strangely uh, specific. Strike and now one, here two, it is. and three. <laughs> <laughs> here it is coming up. I love the electric violin. She's multi-talented, plays every instrument. Um, got a great voice. Um, but, yeah, I, I just wanted to chime in there and say, hey, you know, it, it was way off. It had nothing to do with them losing the contest. All right. Well, listen, I only know the way Bill's telling the story. So, you know, yeah, well, you know I don't know the. Yeah, and I just told him, you know, look, he was being kind of a jerk, and I, I kind of kidded him. I said, you know, maybe maybe you were just hangry because it was skinny, Bill. Yeah. Well, but so, how are you being a jerk, Bill, if this had nothing to do I with the band? I literally don't remember. I, I, yeah, I remember the band Crack, I rem but I don't remember exactly what I was, how I was being a jerk. Well, it wasn't, it, it wasn't really about the Crack. We were, there was like four or five of us sitting there, and. It wasn't even the band members who were like friends of the band and family members, and you were just—he was just being a little off. And we're like, "Whoa, what's up with that?" Dan, guy? is this—is like, is this crack as in the Gaelic word? Yes. Oh, like the crack is ninety. Okay, I thought you yeah, meant like they were exactly. named after rock cocaine. And yo, I've heard of crack. Yeah. No. yeah okay. Are you trying to tell us, uh, Dan, that she dumped you, or was it a mutual parting of the ways? It was—it was mutual. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, we got it all cleared up, Dan. What do you play? Anything? Yeah, I play a little bit of guitar. All right, I'm not that great, but you know. Well, do you do you still play? I mean, is there any practice involved? Yeah, bar or... chords and stuff like that. I, I'm not I'm not playing out anywhere. I, I jam with a couple friends, but that's about it. Oh, Dan's playing right now. Well, let's see what he's got going on here. Ooh, Dan sounds pretty good. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay, thank you, Dan. I appreciate the call. He's Dan in Lakewood. Oh, he's still playing. I'm sorry.
All right. <laughs> I can't figure out why they couldn't work that into an Irish um, rock band, but uh, there it is. Flea shows up on John Mulaney's Everybody's in L.A. He had a uh, a nightly for, I think, a week's worth for the Netflix is a joke festival out there. John Mulaney did a nightly live uh, talk show where it was uh, freewheeling is a, one word I've seen used to, to describe it. Madcap. Uh, it was kind of all over the place, and they did a bit called Where's Flea? He goes, we sent people out to look for Flea, because when you're talking about Los Angeles, you're thinking of Flea, and of course, uh, Flea wasn't missing. I'll tell you what L.A. is. L.A. is Denny's mother <laughs> Denny's is a magical place. It is a sanctuary in this town. It is a microcosm of L.A. It transcends all cultural and ethnic and economic boundaries. It's a beautiful place. You can find everybody in Denny's. I was just there. There are all these beautiful Latino kids just coming from their prom, coming from a quinceanera. It's a great place. Well, you could go there at midnight. People bring their babies there at midnight. <laughs> and you might say, you might just go, well, they better take that baby home. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know why that baby's there. They might be locked out of their apartment. I know I'm locked out of mine. <laughs> but what I really want to say is, God bless Denny's. God bless all those street musicians out there. Put some money in their hat. Yeah. And God bless this beautiful, filthy, glorious, sprawling city of Los Angeles. Filthy and glorious. Mm-hmm. You got to give it up for that. I do love Los Angeles. People like to crap on it, but love it. I have been there in 11 years. And I love Denny's, quite frankly. I do love... That didn't make me want to go to Denny's more yes. than Los Angeles. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> like if like, only there were Denny's around here. Um, I haven't been to a Denny's in a long time. That just sounds kind of fun. Denny's is good. I was always kind of more of a Perkins or an IHOP man, but in a pinch, boy, Denny's is pretty tight. You know, when we were working in Oak Tree... I would never remember that there was a Denny's like across on the other side of the highway. Right there. It's one mm-hmm. right there. And it wasn't even tucked away. No, it's just it became such like I was like eye blind to that whole strip there. Denny's is a place that I really don't go unless it's late at night. Like it's not like maybe breakfast, but not like a lunch. I don't think I've ever had lunch at Denny's. Oh, you've never gone midday yeah, with a like, book? No. Ha- sure, ordered chill. ordered yeah. a berry waffle slam. No. And just um uh dip into some uh although the so they used to have one in Medina that was a Denny's diner so it looked like an old 50s diner yeah. type and that's the one we'd hang out with and uh it's gone now but I, I I think it's gone I don't know maybe it's not I'm not down there very often but I always loved going to that one the most cuz it just you know it was like the good old days that yeah I never, that you I know. never experienced you what was nostalgic? Alan, what were the 50s like? Let me tell you, Bill, uh, <laughs> the 2050s, because I'm a time traveler and I've come back here to warn all of you that um, you're doing a bad job. It's not going to go well. Uh, well, you know what it is? I traveled back in time and I was set to go back within 36 hours. But you know what happened? What? Met a woman. Oh, that's mm. stuck around. That Denny's is still open. Look at that. In Medina? Yeah, the diner one. Yeah, well. The IHOP out by me closed a while ago, and they turned it into, like, a Mexican cantina or something. I don't know how an IHOP can't stay open, for God's sake, but maybe it's... All you snooty millionaires are like, I'm not going to IHOP. Yeah, it was always nuts to butts in there. I don't know what you're talking about. But the... uh, uh, And why did it close? IHOP Steel Yard is still open. I don't know. I have... I'm literally genuinely flummoxed why an IHOP would close. I think maybe maybe there was too much foliage in front of it, and people didn't know it was there. It was always busy, though. Huh? You said it was always busy. Well, yeah, for the, I mean, for who's in the restaurant, but I mean, it's not like there were people waiting to get in there. So, um, I don't know. Every time I went, you know, I'd go a few times a year, take my daughter in there, get some pancakes. I'd stuff my pants full of bacon because it was a day that I wasn't working out, so I couldn't cook my own in my leggings. Right. And so I would have to go and have them do it. Another reference of working out. And quite out. frankly, they didn't take kindly to when I walked in with my own bacon and just tossed it at them and said, fry this up, Pierre. And he was like, my name's Jim A. Why are you throwing bacon at me? I said, BYOB. Mary, did you work out today? Uh, I went for a walk today, okay. but I did not, like, work out. I worked out yesterday. You worked out yesterday? The first okay. time in probably since December. Uh, be- now, where do you yeah. walk? You walk throughout around the neighborhood? What do yeah. you do? Do you take the cat? You walk the cat? I wish I could, man. She's been hanging out in the window a lot more lately, and I love watching people walk because I have, like, a big bay window in my um, bedroom. 
and I can hear people stopping outside the window and being like, hi, kitty. I, lo- I think it's the funniest thing in the world. But you, you should, can walk a cat, right? You should put you like can. a ring camera there and I record. I, I thought about that. I'm like, but I think people, I think you can't like do anything with the footage because people's faces. But it's on the they street. They consent to it. They're on the street. They're in public. I guess. But yeah, I thought about that because I'm like, I'd say when she's hanging out in the window, like once per session of her being in the window, I'll hear a stranger be like, hello, hi, little cat. But yeah, no, I just walk around, walked a couple blocks around the neighborhood, probably about 25 minutes, half hour. Mm-hmm. Get to know your neighborhood a little bit better. I'm trying to hit my steps. Yeah. Yeah, I've been saying I'm going to start working out again for six months, and I finally did yesterday. So. Yeah, I'm back in the routine now, too. I, I've done, like, a session here and there, but, like, I finally, like, went yesterday, going, went today, going again tomorrow. I can't go every it. day to start back because then I'll quit. Like, I have to ease back into it. Like, if well, I, I'm, like, I have I'm not, like, doing, like, months. the most intense work. Like, I'm easing matter. back. For like, me, at least, yeah. where I'm like, if I haven't worked out in six months, it's got to be like every other day or like three times the first week, four times the next week, four times a week after that, then maybe five. Like, I can't I can't go balls to the wall because then I'll be too sore and I'll quit. You know what you should do? Go four times in one day and then take the rest of the week off. There you go. I can't you do that You got time either. for that. I don't have time for that. No, first you do. Of all. Second of all, I'm not, what do I do? Each- he said he would not cover it. So I, can't I said I would. No, he said he won it. We'll do a live stream of Bill from Boston on the Funny Bus. There you go. How about that? All right, Mel. Um, You can uh, leave us messages if you listen to us on the iHeartRadio app. Um, If you don't want to leave voicemails, you can just drop them there. Alan, hate the show. Um, Never seen Flubber make the Flubber reference. Mary makes a Frozen reference. You don't get it. You've never seen Frozen. Make this make sense. Love you, love me, love, hate everybody. Wait, what is she saying? You said you've never seen Flubber. Yeah. But you made a Flubber reference. And then I made a reference to Frozen. You're like, how am I supposed to know that? I've never seen it. Arendelle, what is that? Well, but the movie is called Flubber. So? You made a reference to something in the movie Frozen. Sure. Which I've never seen. You've never seen Flubber either, so how yeah, do you know? he's heard of the... Yeah, it's a remake of a movie from the 60s. I well, mean, I... You should I d- know what Arendelle is. I don't. I'm blessed with a daughter who couldn't care less about Frozen, so I have nothing... I, not, n- I don't know any of that. Mm-hmm. By the way, there's a lot of movies I've never seen, but I'm familiar with the premise. Like Mary was talking about how she, sh- she saw Aladdin on Broadway. I've never seen Aladdin, but the movie is 30 years old, so I know there's a dude with a carpet and a genie. Yeah. And a girl who sings a lot, right? Yeah. The girl doesn't sing as much as he does, but yeah. Well, there you go. No, Annandale, I don't know what that is. I mean, it's You're a... doing it on purpose. <laughs> Again, I've never seen... I've I... seen Frozen, Frozen. And I didn't know what a, the city was called. So yeah, the, the Bill Squire, everybody. Come on. So anyway, I hope that makes it make sense for you, ma'am. Hey, Tim. Yeah. What's up, Tim? How you doing? Oh, I'm great. What's up, Tim? Oh, I was just letting you guys know that uh, that the Denny's in Medina, the diner or the you know looks like an old school diner. It's still down there. Oh, yeah, good for you. I looked it up. I saw that. Yeah, it was about three weeks ago. I was down there and I drove past and I wanted to stop in there, but I didn't have time. So that was always a good place to go. So your story is about a place you didn't go, Tim. Oh, I've been there before. I just didn't get a chance to go down there last time I was down Do you there. order the same thing every time, or do you mix it up? Oh, I've got to mix it up. All right. But always with bacon, right? I hope. Oh, yeah. i got to have bacon. got to have bacon, <laughs> right. If you're yeah. from Ohio, if you're anywhere in Ohio, you got to have bacon. <laughs> oh, is that true? Is Ohio known for its bacon? Oh, okay. Well, there's I mean... the one guy that has the restaurants downtown, and he was always known for uh, you can pork. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, might be something to that. Okay, thank you, Tim. There you go. Tim drove by that place you're talking about, Bill, and... It's pretty exciting. It's still there. Yeah. He's able to visually... We always like to get visual confirmation from people, and uh, we got it from him. Here's something that is also going to bum you out, and I felt like I was that this was a very old story because I thought it was something that we had discussed, but apparently not. They are fully getting rid of the Chuck E. Cheese animatronic bands. 
Um, I know that they got rid of some of these at some of those other competitor weirdo animal associated pizza joints. But Chuck E. Cheese uh, around the United States, and there's no shortage of videos of people. Half of them are like, hey, remember these? And then other people, it looks like a horror movie. They put in black and white and they, you know, these animatronic jer- herky jerky bands. We all know them. One it's of my favorite. Cross generational with Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, a favorite early viral video of Mike Polk was filming all the animatronics, but then putting it to the diner robbery audio <laughs> from Pulp Fiction. Yeah. And it's very funny. So they're phasing out. They call it the chain's most aggressive transformation yet. Boy, you love to hear the word aggressive in association with Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, they're getting rid of their animatronic bands. And you think to yourself, well, Alan, surely they must be keeping one or two of them. Nope. Wholesale getting rid of the bands. That means Chuck E. Cheese. That means uh, Helen Henney. That was Uh the singer, right? Uh, The keyboardist was Mr. Munch. Do you remember the dog who performed the guitar? That was Jasper T. Jowls. Okay. And the drummer was Pasquale, who, if you'll recall, was... A very, uh, very stereotyped, like, Italian chef or something, you know? It's a me on the drums, that kind of thing. So they're getting rid of all of the Chuck E. Cheese uh, bands. And they said that in place of the animatronics, they're going to be putting in uh, things like trampolines and digital dance floors. Because, listen, kids are different now than you, you can't have animatronic bands that will enthrall any child over the age of 18 months. Because kids are on their tablets. You know, kids are a lot savvier technologically than they were when I was a dopey eight-year-old and sat there and rapt attention at these dumb bands. You're not going to keep those kids uh, enthralled. So they're getting rid of the bands. They don't want to watch an old (laughs) bunch of animals (laughs) poorly sing songs. Hey, they do a good job with those songs. I mean, they try. They as certainly as they keep the maintenance up there. They they're doing it just put right. Put their all into it. And there, so there, there was a, a viral video of the Hall of Presidents at Disney malfunctioning, and they they're like, "Please do not film this." And everybody's like, "Screw you, we're filming this." <laughs> yeah. And the they're just like, "I did the 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 four go 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 go," and then they're, they're like, they're all like wigging out. It's very very creepy. Yeah. Yep. Well, no, here's a clip from the Hall of Presidents. Wait, I did it. I pulled it out. And with no brain damage, 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 damage. <laughs> <laughs> I got to take a break. I will have more money for you. It's $1,000 American, courtesy of the Buzzard Bookie.